Hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of The Box Seat. I'm Mark Warwood. Seven races for Twilight Racing at Ascot Good Times. We're expecting a sunny day, 32 degrees Celsius. The track to be a good four and the rail to be out at the 10 metre position. Race number one on Wednesday at Ascot will jump at 3.04. It's the Tap Touch Betty or Bet Maiden over 1,500 metres. And in replay, let's have a look at the last start second of Prized Nemesis. Nemesis and Savuna on its outside making ground. Fair Tour Rangers up, grabs Luke Starr. We rip a call to pond. Down the outside, Prize Nemesis. Al Gourmali going for run back inside of them. Prize Nemesis, We Ripper have come together with 100 left to go and Al Gourmali. It's We Ripper, Prize Nemesis. We Ripper clinging on from Prize Nemesis. We Ripper. We Ripper by a... Ne Prize Nemesis has been knocking on the door in Saturday Maiden. Steps back to a Wednesday Maiden here in the format of the races he's been going around in as he held up. The Tong Tai went on two starts ago. The Bubble Chico has been off all preparation. The only time this horse was unplaced recently was when he was held up and eased over the line. So willing to give Prize Nemesis one more chance here to break through. He's had six minor placings from 10 starts. Goes on top from number five, the Honeyman, who was two lengths off Prize Nemesis in that race, won by True Image on the 2nd of February. The Winkers have been off and the Blinkers came on last time out, was held up in that race. I think you can get closer to the the top one. Number 10, the Rose Feath for Bruce Watkins and Sean O'Donnell. The fastest sectionals on debut when third split in prize nemesis and the Honeyman at Ascot. Last start was down at Albany behind a reasonable horse in What About Moses. And then number three, Enzyme Pulver. It's having his first preparation in WA for Roly Piercy. Jason Whiting keeps the ride. Did beat prize nemesis at York and he's one and one versus scintillating another horse here since Boxing Day. I just think the prize nemesis is possibly the one to follow here. Top selection in race number one is number one, prize nemesis to beat five, the Honeyman, 10 rose feet and three, Enzyme Pulver. Race number two at Ascot on Wednesday will jump at 3.45. It's the Han Super Dry Handicap over 1,200 metres. And in replay, let's have a look at the last start win at Ascot of I Am Spartacus into the corner right off the track then at the head of the others bachelor boy geograph bays made up good ground so is mums the one which is tracked right up towards the inside but is running out of room as lookout reaches the lead inside the 150 lookout about three quarters i am spartacus good fortune i am spartacus lookout it's going to be a busy finish getting clear uni time from the back they split the Iron Spartacus was quite green in the replay race, but he overcame that to get the job done and he beat Lookout by a head. I think he's likely to be ahead of Akvavit in the run here, and I think that's going to be key because Akvavit certainly has got the form in the book to win a race like this, but he's simply not a winner. Iron Spartacus comes from the Harvey Yard. They're in really, really good form, and I think he's the one to beat. Goes on top from three, Akvavit. Just the one win from the 11 starts, 10 minor placings. The time she did win was when she beat the Fagazzi and she got the jump on him and the rest of the field was pretty damn ordinary has to be said it's got the right form lines fairy whisper macroy in particular i just don't think she's a winner and she can't be trusted number five can he rule her from the pierce team uh, back with the pierce boy spent some time in kalgoorlie was midfield all the way last star but that was in the magic millions three-year-old race behind sam is that three lengths behind that's reasonably good form for this and then number six metallic bell the blinkers have been on the last two starts was six lengths off Akvavit last uh, two starts ago but was wide in that race and was wide last start as well behind tycoon legend top selection in race number two is number four i am spartacus to be three Akvavit, five can he rule her and six metallic bell race number three at ascot on wednesday will jump at 4 15. it is the baking association of australia wa handicap over 1100 meters it's a pretty good three-year-old race for a wednesday in replay let's have a look at the last start runner-up finish of Manika. Strasmore who got a little awkward coming around the corner. Monika gave it the go by. It's Monika shooting a length and a half. Two in front. Trasmore down the outside. Speedy Miss Danny Bella followed by Light My Day with 150 left to travel. It's on the inside Monika but Speedy Miss which has come from last descends upon it. Speedy Miss went straight past Monika. Big win. Speedy Miss Prickery is up. Plenty of chances in race number three. Settled on number four here Monika. I know she was beaten last start as we saw in the replay race but I think Speedy Miss is a 
pretty handy animal. And prior to that, she had beaten Speedy Miss at Bunbury. I think stepping back to the 1100 meters from the 1200 meter suits, this is the full sister of Misty Metal. And I think Misty Metal wants it shorter than 1200 meters as well. I think there was no shame in getting swamped late after going pretty hard in front last time out for Kate Whitten. She keeps the ride and gets that two kilo claim. Goes on top from number three, Uni Time, who was really slow away on debut, was held up on straightening as well, but came home with the fastest sectionals. It was a really good run behind Iron Spartacus, who we'll see in race number two. Number one, Care Healing comes out of a Saturday race, was only just touched off by Cryptive Love. Should we probably have won the race for William Pike and uh, Ross Price. Two starts ago, finished last, but you can put a pen through that. There was a bit of uh, heat stress going on that day. Prior to that, had won two in a row. I think Care Healing is a worthy contender here. And then number 10, Scenic Charm, two trolls at last. Hill, won both of them recently, was a little bit disappointing when he got, she got to the racetrack uh, back in September and October. That was off some really good trials as well. This is the half of Red Blast and it comes from a very nice family indeed. Top selection in race number three is number four, Manika, to beat three unit time, one Care Healan and ten Scenic Charm. Race number four at Ascot on Wednesday will jump at 4.50. It's the Perth Racing Club membership handicap over 1100 metres and in replay we're going to go to Pinjarra and the last start win of Beautiful Mind from Can He Hustle and Beautiful Mine is poised to strike down on the inside getting a pretty good run through just needs to get out around the heels of that leader the gap is closing he has to go back to the inside and there's a run there at the 200 as Sheerness also joins in coming to the 150 Beautiful Mine spearing through along the rails now grabs the lead he put pay to win the mosh pit hidden addiction and Beautiful Mine much too good and a class above them that replay was two months ago so Beautiful Mind hasn't raced since the 20th of December she hasn't had a trial she's probably had a setback or two but uh, the word on the street is this daughter of so you think is well above average William Pike takes the ride here for the first time she was held upon straightening in the replay but she came home with the fastest last 200 to win very convincingly they tried her over a bit further than this last campaign 1400 and 1650 she's back to the sprint trips here of 1200 and 1100 on Wednesday and I think she might be a little bit better than these she goes on top from number eight slick Sam who's uh, pretty deep into his preparation for Karen Kersley looking at that form though three and a quarter length loss to Alpha Sky last start that reads okay it's a drop in class from a 66 plus down to this 54 plus and Slick Sam was held up for most of the straight behind Alpha Sky on the 19th of January. Another one that's not had a run for a while. Number three is da Vega Dior. This is the full sister of um, Vega Magic, the two-time Group 1 winner. It was third in graduation class last time out, but that was 1,300 metres. I think her best figures have been over 1,200 and a little bit further. And then number one, Thunder Plump. Uh, Kate Wynn takes over from Jade McNaught, who is suspended following her ride on this horse at Bunbury last time out. Got the job done, but Jade got 12 days for her time. Top selection in race number four is number six, Beautiful Mind. It's to be eight Slick Sam, three Vega Dior and one Thunder Plump.